Our story today is called Elbow Grease. It's written by John Cena and illustrated by Harry McMillan. Elbow Grease is a small truck, but something special about him is that he always tries his best. I think you're going to like this story. Elbow Grease was the smallest truck in the demolition derby, but he never let that bother him. Why should I? His brother Tank was tougher. His brother Flash was faster. His brother Pinball was smarter. And his brother Crash was braver. Okay, we get the point. What Elbow Grease had was gumption. You got that right, Buster. He always tried his best and never, ever gave up. Ouch! Ah! Uh -huh. Oops! Yow! At night, Mel the mechanic plugged in elbow grease to charge while the other truck slept outside. Sometimes his brothers teased him for being different. <laughs> he's got a plug. Yeah, he's stuck to the wall. He's got a lithonium battery, which requires an external power source for daily recharging. <laughs> he's got a plug. Yeah, have fun in the rain, you jalopies. Elbow grease didn't get upset. He was glad to be inside, especially during storms. Then one night, Mel brought home a poster. Oh, someday I'm going to be on a poster. The brothers laughed. You're too slow. Yeah, and you're too small. Your technique and experience are insufficient to compete at a professional level. Uh, you're too, um... That made Elbow Grease mad. So mad that he zoomed off to the Grand Prix by himself to prove his brothers wrong. I'll show those jalopies what I can really do. In the morning, Elbow Grease was exhausted. He had driven all night without a charge. But when he arrived at the Grand Prix, he felt his circuit surge with excitement. He quietly rolled onto the track and snuck into position behind the monster trucks at the starting line. The race was about to begin. On your marks. Get set. Go! The other trucks were bigger. The other trucks were faster. The other trucks had more experience and better technique. But Elbow Grease wouldn't quit. Mm, never give up! Never give up! He fell behind. But he kept on trucking. Ugh. He got covered in mud, but he kept on rolling. Yuck! He got bashed and smashed and even caught on fire a little bit, but still, he kept going. Owie kazowie! Oh, rust buckets! Halfway through the race, it started pouring rain. Thunder rumbled. Lightning flashed. And all of a sudden, Elbow Grease's engine shut down. His battery was completely dead. Elbow Grease was stuck. For the first time, he wondered if his brothers had been right. He started to cry. I'm not c c crying. Just cold and tired and scared of the lightning. The lightning jolted the battery back to life. Elbow Grease barely had enough charge to keep going, but he didn't give up. He didn't give in. No matter what, he would finish this race, even if he came in last. Mel and Elbow Grease's brothers arrived just in time to see him rattle across the finish line and collapse in a heap. The winner's celebration was already over. Look! Bo, most trucks couldn't even make it to the finish line. Just then, the winner of the race rolled by. 
Well, shift my gears and call me Sally. This kid's got gumption. You boys could learn a lot from him. Crash was shocked. Flash was stunned. Pinball was intrigued. Tank was confused. Mel knew that Big Wheels McGee was right. If you only stick to what you're good at, you'll never learn anything. So the next time that your problem seems too big or too hard, you just remember, a little elbow grease goes a long way. And that's the end of our story. Elbow Grease tried his hardest, even though he knew he wasn't going to be the winner. I think that's important, don't you? See you next time.